Hi everybody, it's Michelle, and today I'm going to show you how I add stickers into my sticker book in GoodNotes. So here is kind of the main dashboard in GoodNotes where I have my current planners that I'm using and things that I'm currently using, not just kind of stored in the app. And you see here I have my old sticker book right there. And this is my new one. This is the one that's in the shop. Right now, it still only has the stickers that come with the sticker book, and I'm going to add in all of the ones I've collected so far that are in this old sticker book, and I'm going to put them into the new one. To do this, I'm going to open up the sticker book, and I am going to make sure that that is open. I'm going to go back, and I'm going to open up this sticker book. So now I have them both open up here at the top. And these are all of the old ones that I've collected over the past year or two that I have all these images. And please be sure that they are free for personal use images that you collect online. And I just like to find some cute stuff and add it to my planner. Some of these are also cut files that have been purchased like from the Silhouette store. So I have put all of that on here. Now we can flip back and forth just by clicking over back and forth here in the menu on each one and this is actually my planner right there but I'm not going to use that right now this is the new book and I do have it sectioned out between holidays seasons occasions and functional down on this side and over here these tabs are just numbered and they are actually blank to where I can make them whatever I want to make them so going back to this sticker book, let me start at the beginning. I have all of these icon stickers. Let me pull out my pencil. This is the iPad that I use all the time. This is the smaller one, the 10.5 with this case. And I just have this pencil or pen holder stuck onto there to hold my pencil. These I love to use on my calendars, especially just to kind of mark, you know, when I go to each store, so on. I can just hit the lasso and just choose everything on here. Copy that and I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to put these in my functional section. And I'm actually going to need to add in a page. Let me stick this here and paste it for now. Let's resize that. Make it a little smaller so it fits on there. And I can leave it there. Or I'm going to add in some pages. So I'm going to go here to the back. Choose a blank page. I'm going to select that. So we hit edit. Select copy. done. Now I'm going to go up here behind my functional tab and add in some pages. So we're going to add, paste the copied page, paste the copied page. And let's see here. I'm going to add in some more here and there because I'm not sure how many I'm going to need. Let's put another one behind back to school. I know I have back to school. I know I have birthday ones, add that in, fall, spring, summer, winter, Christmas for sure, Thanksgiving, I'm just going to put one page behind all of these holidays because I know that I have some in the old sticker book. I don't know if I have New Year's ones or not, but let me put that in. Okay, I'm going to hit done. So I have a bunch of blank pages added into my sticker book. Now I just keep going back and forth and copy and pasting. My summer ones, let's lasso. And I'm just cutting out that word summer because I don't need that. Copy. 
copy. Where is summer seasons? Spring, summer, here we go. Let's paste it there. I'm going to resize. Remember, they, it can be small because whenever you actually put them into your planner, you can resize them again and make them bigger or smaller. So I'm going to add those there. What is my next page? More summer. I hope I got that. Copy. Put them over here. Let's resize. A little bigger. The only thing is, the, it's a blank background. It doesn't have the lines. And the reason why I use lined paper on this book is because I could tell which ones were actually transparent just by looking at it. But eh, it's no big deal. I'll deal with that if I need to later on. Next, we have Patriotic, which is the 4th of July and Veterans Day. I think I kind of put them all together. Memorial Day, that type of thing. Copy. Uh, that would be under Holidays. Paste it there, resize it. Back to school. Where did I have back to school? I think that's occasion under occasions. It's birthday. Now it's back to school. And I can always find more or purchase more online and add even more stickers to this book. Fall. That's seasons. Lots of fall stickers. I love fall's my favorite season. I love to decorate for fall. And even though I'm not really big on summer, I have lots of summer stickers too. Because it's just such a busy time of year. Okay, what is next? Halloween. Uh-oh, undo. Get all of those. Copy. And that is under holidays. Sorry if I'm sniffly. We're still trying to get rid of this cold and flu in the house. And you just continue to do this. If you have an old sticker book, you can just continue to keep adding in more. Now, if you don't already have a sticker book where you're just copying and pasting into the new book, then you can save them to your camera roll and you just add, go to add up here, image, and you can choose it from your camera roll and add it right into the book. Very simple. Let me see if I have one here that I can show you. Photos. I don't think I have anything in here really. Oh, I'll show you. This was a movie poster that I downloaded. Oh, I do have some here. These were some of the printables from Coco Daisy. I had some images here of things that I saved. See, I can pick that one right there and then add it right here into my planner. Just for my camera roll. So it's real easy to do. So you just continue to do that until you fill up your sticker book with all this lovely sticker goodness. And so you can add all that to your planner. 
And there you go. If you have any questions, just put them below in the comment section and I will get back to you as soon as possible. You guys have a great day and I'll see you next time.